Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 35. We move all occurrences of a substring. So, this one is actually the concept is not hard, but the, the analysis is. And I think that's where I spend most of my time during the contest is making sure that it runs fast enough. So, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, what I'm going to do right now is some, it's usually my, my explanations are not language specific. And it, in this case, it still isn't. But because in other languages, n squared, given that n is the length of n, or okay, n times m, where s is the, n is the length of the s, and m is the length of part, um, that's going to be fast enough because a million is really fast in most languages. But in Python, especially on lead code and how they measure it. It may be a little sketch, so I was a little bit worried about it. Um, maybe I should have just used another language for this one. But the key thing to know here is there are a couple, so this is my code. So the key idea is just to use a stack. And then for every time you add a character, you go backwards to see whether that fits. Um, so you may think, or you may say, would that be too slow because, because well, this is an n loop, this is an uh, m loop, maybe, and this is an m loop, right? So why is it not n times m times m? Well, the, the answer is because for every character that's in S, so every character that's in S, it can only be removed once, right? Um, and so that means that the worst case is if it doesn't get removed. And if it doesn't get removed, it only get gets looked at at most m times, so it's a little bit wonky and it's the analysis is a little bit trickier because it's not as straightforward as other problems. But because of that kind of worst case analysis, you get the the um the worst case is actually n times m, even though this looks mad sketch and 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 here you know it's another loop. But um but yeah, so that's the basic idea. And because once you pop it, then you can compare it again. But once you compare it, you can only compare this m times, or like in a brute force kind of way, you're just comparing two string with an offset uh, where none of it ever matches. And of course, we even have a pre-filter where we make sure the length is long enough. So you can kind of like do a almost like a, 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 a really bad sliding window thing. So there you go. Um, I think you can actually, if you want to optimize this, I think you can use the the failure function of um, KMP to kind of figure it out. Um, to be honest, I'm not as strong as KMP as I used to be, so I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you to do at home, and you let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. And in that case, I think you can maybe do a little bit better. Um, anyway, I don't know. Play around that idea. That's all I have. Let me know what you think. And watch me start a live in the contest next. Go. Uh, that was a mess. Uh, let's see.
out this is gonna be fast enough let's see okay fast enough that was pretty fast actually yeah thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord thanks for your support and thanks for you know i mean this is a you know for the first time uh, uh haven't finished top 10 in a while so yeah anyway i'll see you later and to good coding bye bye